Hey guys, this is Gary, back with a new Zion Builder tutorial, on how to use the Theme Builder to create headers and footers. So yes, the Theme Builder is used to create headers or footers and assign them to different pages, but you can also use the Theme Builder to create archive pages and single pages, for your blog or products. Basically, you can customize your blog page and shop page however you want. This is the Theme Builder. It starts with a default template. Inside the template you can add components. Any component added to the default template it will be applied on all pages. So here we could add a header and footer component for example, because the header and footer are usually found on all pages. If we feel the need to overwrite the default header or footer, we can do it by adding a new template from the Add New button. The last template takes precedence if the pages overlap. So if I create a new template with a header component that applies only to the home page, then this new header will overwrite the default header. This lets us do a transparent header on the home page for example, while on the other pages we will have a solid color header. To apply the theme builder changes, you need to hit save. Let's see how it works. Go to pages and add a new page. If we edit this page, you will see that Zion Builder edits only the content, and keeps the default header and footer design of the theme that you are using. In our case, it is the header and footer of the 2019 theme, because this is the theme we are using right now. But you can use any theme you want. If you go to the page options you can select a black canvas. This option clears the header and footer of the theme and lets you design on the whole page. The problem is that when you add a header component from the theme builder and on this page there is no header then there is nothing to replace, so your header will not appear on this page. So you should either keep the page layout on default or full width. We recommend using the full width option. Now, let's go to the theme builder and add a header component to the default template. To create the actual header, we need to edit a header component. This will open the Zion Builder Editor, where you can create the header. I will add one from the library. After we finished editing, we can save the page and close the editor from the top right close button. Now, this header component contains our new header design. We just need to apply it by clicking this Save button. Go back to your home page, and you will see that the theme's default header is replaced by the new header that we just made from the theme builder. You can do the same thing for the footer. Go back to the theme builder. Add a footer component and edit it. Create your footer. Save and close. Save the theme builder settings. And check your home page again. Here you go, we also have a footer now. And your content will go here. Let's try something else now. Sometimes we find ourselves wanting to have a different header on another page, with let's say, a different background color. Let's try to do that. Let's create a second page. Edit it with Zion Builder. And set the page layout to full width. Now, in the Theme Builder, we can add another template and select to apply the components, on a specific page, in our case the About Us page we have created. Add a new header component. Go 
edit the first header component, and save the header in your local library. Now go back to the second header component, open your local library, and insert the header. Change your background color. Save and close. Save again the theme builder settings. If you refresh your about us page, you will see that the header has changed to black. While your homepage still has the white header. To distinguish the headers one from the other, you can hover the components from the right sidebar, or simply rename them to know which one is which. A cool thing we can do now, is that we can switch the header simple as this. As you can see, the homepage is now a black header, and the about us has the white header. The theme builder is also a great way to add flash sales ads, through a banner on all pages. We will add a feature that will let you schedule when that banner will appear, or disappear from the website, but that's another story. And another tutorial. This wraps up our tutorial on how you can add headers and footers through the theme builder. In the next video, I will show you how you can create a WooCommerce products archive template and products page with the help of the theme builder and dynamic data. See you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one.